I truly hope these taste as good as they look. I just made some homemade chocolate protein pancakes and then I topped it with peanut butter and bananas and then I'm gonna use this sugar-free syrup. Oh, does it look good? Do you approve? Oh, num, 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 num. Anyways, I'm gonna split these with Ben. I'll report back, let you guys know if the recipe is worth sharing, so BRB. Just got ready for the day. Let me give you an update on breakfast. It was so good. I've been working on perfecting this recipe for quite some time and I think I finally nailed it. I'm gonna put the recipe down below in the description box if you guys wanna try it. If you're looking for some kind of healthy breakfast protein pancake, this is it. I haven't added up macros or anything, but I would say there's about 15 to 20 grams of protein depending on the protein powder that you use in about two pancakes and I was able to make about six pancakes. As you saw, the pancakes were super fluffy and that's what I've been on the hunt to make is some kind of like fluffy protein chocolate pancake. The only thing that was missing was chocolate chips, which would have been really good in it. I just didn't have any. Also, it's from last night. Don't judge me, okay? I'm not drinking red wine at 10 o'clock in the morning, I promise. I am gonna go to the gym as soon as Ben wakes up. So I just got myself together for the gym, put on some gym clothes. So yeah, Ben is down for now. He had kind of a rough night. I think it's teething. I'm pretty sure this is all teething related. He seems totally fine, no fever, demeanor's good, but he threw up in the middle of the night last night, all over his crib, all over the mattress, which I literally had just cleaned because he'd also done that during nap time. So I don't know if it's him like drinking his bottle too fast or something. Really need to switch him to sippy cups, but just, you know, haven't done that yet. I got up with him in the middle of the night. Ty and I like completely stripped his bed, cleaned him up, scrubbed him down the best that we could without having to give him a bath, although he really needed one. So this morning I ended up giving him a bath before nap time. So we did the whole bath time routine, the lotion routine, the pajama routine. We did all of that at 9.30 this morning when he went down for his nap. Let me tell you what's on the agenda. Scarlett has a half day of school today. So when she gets home, when Ben wakes up, I'm gonna go work out. I'm I'm very excited because Ty and I are going out to dinner with a few of our friends. One of our good friends' birthdays is tonight, my friend Bailey. We've known her for seven years. She's our longest friend we've had here in Arizona. And we're gonna go celebrate her tonight. We're eating at some Italian restaurant. It sounds amazing, it looks amazing. Ty and I love Italian food. We love Italian wine. That's what we were drinking last night. I have to show you what I got Bailey for her birthday. I have a picture of her. <laughs> it is so funny. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get demonetized if we keep listening to it. It's called funnygreetings.co or .com. I can't remember. I'll link it down below in the description box. But you send in a picture of the person and then a little message and then they have a video like this to you within a few days. It is a very fast turnaround. And then on top of that, they donate a free meal with every purchase to a community, which is even better. So very, very fun. So this has been a really fun gift and I cannot wait to give this to her. She is gonna die. I'm very excited. So we have a sitter coming over, but we're not going out until like 7, 7.30. So Ben will already be asleep. Our Sitter's just gonna need to get Scarlett to bed, which is very simple, and then sit at our house while our kids sleep. But I do need to figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. You guys, I don't really wear regular clothes. All I wear is like workout clothes. And so when I'm dressing up or like trying to put on normal clothes, I don't really know what to do. Like I'm good in the summer. In the summer, I can just put on a tank top and jean shorts. Like that is my go-to. Tank top, jean shorts, oversized t-shirt and some kind of biker short. Those are money. That's what I know to wear. I don't know how to like dress up anymore. And maybe it's just because like I am old. I just am not on trend. I'm not trendy. I don't consider myself a trendy person. I consider myself a very casual athleisure person. Maybe you guys consider me trendy, but I definitely don't consider myself trendy at all. I don't have time to go shopping. I don't have time to sit on my phone and look for like a new outfit. I don't want to do that. I will just figure it out. I'm sure there's something in my closet that will work. I just wish it was socially acceptable to wear like workout clothes everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna go do some chores before Ben wakes up. Here's some real life for you guys. My laundry room is out of control. Um, I have all of this laundry that is clean that just needs to be put away. I have both of these full with laundry. So I'm gonna see how much of this I can get done during nap time today.
so something that I've done with Ben that I didn't do with Scarlett is buy a lot less clothing. For Ben, I mean, he mainly wears lolly coat pajamas, but I only have like maybe 10 outfits max. So I have a very small quantity of items that he just rotates through of clothing, but it makes laundry, it makes life, it makes picking out outfits so much easier because I don't have near as much laundry as I do with Scarlett who wears like five different outfits every single day. So I'm like, if she had less stuff, then I'd have less laundry and she'd have less choices. So she'd have to keep on what she's wearing. So part of me wants to just go through her room and completely cut her wardrobe in half. But another part of me would feel really bad because I don't think she'd appreciate that. But maybe we can do it together. But I have really appreciated the approach we took with Ben's wardrobe. It's just made life so much easier. Less clothes, less stuff, less laundry. It's amazing. Speaking of Ben, he's already awake. I'm hoping maybe he'll fall back asleep. Let's hope he sleeps just a little bit longer because it's been only maybe 30, 45 minutes. Okay, Ben's up from his nap. He indeed did not go back to sleep. He's somewhere over here. I'm gonna put his laundry away. I got all of Scarlett's laundry put away. I almost forgot. I wanted to share something that we've been using on Ben that has worked really good with some of his like dry skin we've been experiencing. He would like to make an appearance. He's eating one of the protein pancakes that I made earlier. Okay, but he's been teething so bad and when he teethes, his little cheeks over here, they get really red and dry. And so I have been on the hunt for some kind of like thicker cream that is going to really help hydrate and act as like a barrier for that dry skin. And I found the best product. It's the Formal B Kids Derma Barrier Cream. It instantly hydrates his skin. I use this anywhere he needs a little extra hydration, like his knees, like his cheeks. Formal B Kids has so many different products on their website that are designed specifically for kids. And I'm so grateful to partner with them today because there's some awesome products that I think you guys are are going to love. Formal B Kids are made with zero harmful ingredients. Also, these are fragrance free too, which I know is super important to a lot of moms. It has a low pH formula to restore healthy skin pH. This is definitely one of my favorite products by them. It's their Derma Barrier Cream and it's what I use on like his really dry skin, his cheeks. It definitely helps with the redness and the dryness. They also have this stick balm, which is really nice too to put on his cheeks because it applies very easily. And this is kind of nice to have on the go. I keep this in my diaper bag. And then another product that I really like from them is their Derma Barrier wash so this is a body wash you could also use this on his hair as well some babies get really dry scalps and this would be a really good solution to the dry scalp situation because this is a very hydrating body wash it starts off as like a gel and then the more you mix it and rub it around it turns into like a cream so you can literally see it hydrating your baby's skin in the moment it's crazy so the other thing in this line is the itch care patch so if your child struggles with dry skin and it becomes itchy these are where it's at for example sometimes your knees get itchy or your elbows get itchy this little patch you can just put on while they sleep and it gives them an instant relief anyways we became big fans of the formal b kids products they have been working really well for ben and for scarlet like i said the cream and the balm have been helping with ben's flush cheeks and his dry patches that he's getting from teething on his cheeks i really love this stuff and i think you guys will too so yes if you're on the hunt for a good product for your kids that is not only clean and effective and safe but fragrance free this would be a really really nice option to check out so i'll have four will be kids linked down below in the description box they also have sunscreen which i really want to try because we are in need of a good sunscreen and they have a bunch of other hair and body hair products too that i'm sure are just as good anyways i am going to get this laundry put away now i'm going to put this stuff back and then we're going to do the lunchtime routine and then get ourselves to the gym going to the gym i changed my clothes because i just was not vibing with my last gym outfit and if i do not have a good gym outfit on i'm not going to get a good workout in who else is like that yesterday ty pr'd and deadlift 505 pounds. <laughs> Which is pretty dang cool. Not many people can do that. Feeling it today. So today he's gonna squat, back squat 505 no, pounds. That's true. That's, false. that's fake news. <laughs> Just kidding, fake news. But we are going to work out right now. I'm not entirely sure what my plan is for today. I think I'm supposed to do back and bicep, but I'm kind of feeling a leg day. My like finger situation hasn't been ideal for upper body honestly because my grip's terrible so i've been doing a lot of legs so i'm just gonna see how the gym gods speak to me when i get into the gym and i'm gonna do exactly what they tell me to do they tell me to do upper body i'm gonna do upper body but if they're like grow your glutes grow your glutes that's what i heard they said that's what, I heard they said. That, that's what i'm gonna do then so um we'll just we'll see we'll see what the spirits say to me when i walk into the gym <laughs> 
got out of the gym. We stopped by the gas station. Scarlett was requesting blue Takis. She stayed back with a friend, by the way, so she didn't come with us. But she was requesting blue Takis and a slushie, so I'm surprising her with this. And then I got just a boring body armor water, but this has electrolytes in it, and I feel like I needed some electrolytes. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Ben's helping me do the dishes. Oh, oh, whoa, thank you. It's mommy's nice plate. You are so helpful. I am going to start prepping the house and trying to shower and get myself ready for when the sitter comes over. Something they don't tell you about being a parent is it takes you about four hours <laughs> prep to actually leave the house when you have a sitter coming over. Showering, getting ready, figuring out what you're gonna wear, doing makeup, doing hair, dinner time, and getting him to bed, and honestly, so much more. So it is four o'clock right now. I'm gonna do the dishes, get the kitchen picked up, probably start on dinner time for him. He goes to bed at 6.30. I'm gonna go try to shower here soon. I think Ty's just gonna get ready and then he can help me. I feel like that's probably like the easiest. No, I'm gonna clean the bathroom first. Oh, he's cleaning the bathroom. He's very much looking forward to tonight. Thank you so much. Hi. Oh, all right. hold on, hold up. Okay, thank you. Mini boy. I got you. Good job. It also just got really stormy outside, so it got really gloomy and dark in the house. I just to try to climb the dryer. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys, Ben climbs everywhere. He is a climbing child. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this, and I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Still on the gold you can get, you can get. Sure. Ignore the messy room and the clothes all over the floor and the bed not made. But I'm ready. This is one of my go-to like going out outfits. However, the skirt is getting a little small. It's getting a little bit small. The glute exercises have definitely been paying off because it's getting a little bit tight on the booty. But it's gonna have to work for tonight because this is all I got. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me wear this before. But it's a black long sleeve bodysuit and then a suede mini skirt, both from Abercrombie. And I'm wearing these black little mini heels. Scarlett's back there. She just took a shower and got ready for bed. We're drinking the rest of our wine from last night. We opened a bottle last night, did not finish it. I got this at Costco. It's the San... San Giovese? I don't know if I said that right. It's the type of grapes we like. It's an Italian wine and it's delicious. You know what's crazy is that I put on like regular clothes and I don't feel near as confident as I do than when I'm like in workout clothes at the gym. It's funny how that works. Like I just, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like myself when I'm dressed up. I think I'm just not a dressy person. I'm just more comfortable and confident when I'm in like comfy clothes. Those are comfy clothes? No, I was just amazing. saying. look amazing. Well, thank you. That was sweet. I was saying, I feel more confident and comfortable when I'm in like my workout clothes or at oh, the gym. Oh, so you do the, uh, this is Pookie. She's oh wearing a bodysuit and a skirt. <laughs> Those TikToks are so funny, but I love following them. What's her name? Where's the other wine glass? Uh, dishwasher. We've been drinking a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the TikToks, the reels? I do too. Going around and it's like very popular. Like they do like an outfit of the night and he calls her Pookie. 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 Just pulled up to Stone and Vine. That's where we're eating tonight. Mm -hmm. It's like an Italian restaurant. I don't know. I'm super excited because I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm so hungry. Everything. We love Italian food too. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.